Yeah, uh, first off, I obviously want to give a lot of credit to Duke and, and Coach K and uh, their program. Um, you know, they've got a great team, a lot of great players. Obviously, he's one of the greatest coaches, maybe the greatest ever to coach regardless of sport. So um, you got to give Duke a lot of credit. They're very, very good and obviously a legit chance, a legit team that can win a win the national championship. <coughs> Uh, I thought our guys, you know, you know, all you can ask for is a chance to win the game. We had some chances. Uh, I, I will say we've continued to get better. Uh, our guys have always fought and competed. You know, we got down 11 in the first half, and they've they've scrapped, clawed, punched, kicked, fought for us to to give us ourselves a chance to, uh, you know, put ourselves in a position to to have a chance to win the game. Against a, obviously against an elite team like Duke, so uh, <clears throat> I was proud of our guys' effort. Um, and again, like I said, we're, we're continuing to get better. Uh, we had some turnovers in the first half that bit us in the butt. Uh, we had 10 in the first half, and that's where they got their 11-point lead. We fought back, got the lead, but you know, just those turnovers ended up kind of, you know, uh, uh, just again biting you in the rear on those. And uh, but <clears throat> James Banks. Back-to-back -back games where he's had a great motor. Uh, I thought Moses Wright, you know, played his tail off. He and James obviously missed a lot of short shots, but they, I can live with that in a sense because they played so hard. So, you know, everything we talk about is motor. And um, Michael DeVoe dove on the floor multiple times, came up with some great 50-50 balls. Bubba Parr, great 50-50 balls. Obviously, Jose, tough and hard does. You know, obviously our guard play, we just we got to just limit some of those turnovers. But I was proud of all the guys, and um, um, and we've we've gotten better. And that's a, obviously that's a great team, and, and we play a team that's good enough to win the national championship. Yeah, we <clears throat> we probably got a little tired um, because we exerted so much energy to get back. Um, I was just talking to Marvin Lewis, and he and I were just talking. I was just telling him that it's you know. Be nice to somewhere you can steal some minutes, maybe give a little rest to those guys. It's just hard when you get yourself down against a good team like this. You lose your margin of error, and you, and then you're struggling to score. And then what happens is you just fight, you know, claw to get yourself back in front, and you do, and it's you exert again so much energy. It's hard to sub at that time because you're just you're just kind of moving, and um, uh, but. It is what it is. I mean, we missed a lot of short shots right there at the rim, and 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 all you can ask for is an opportunity to get there. And, you know, we missed a couple open looks, but you can, when I say live with it, in a, as a coach, in a sense of because you, all you can ask for is you give yourself a chance to, to win the game, and we had some opportunities. Oh well, we're just with Jose. I think we're a pretty good basketball team, and without Jose, we were just, you know, we were. The highs and lows, and you know, we weren't real. We were a little better than average, maybe average. Uh, and that's nothing against our guys, because we have really good players. It just Jose does a lot for us that doesn't show up in the box score with like his leadership, toughness. He he helps other guys on the floor. Um, so without Jose, it just puts so much pressure on a guy like Michael Devoe to have to defend, rebound, score, and a guy like Bubba Parm, he's got to do so many other things, and other guys have to do so many other things. So it just takes the pressure off. Guys, and so with Jose, I think we're just we're a pretty good team. Um, he just does a lot of things that don't show up in the box score that helps us. But uh, and unfortunately, you know, part of part of basketball or sports, you got it. Part of being successful, you got to stay healthy. And um, unfortunately, we got hit with that little bit of an injury bug with Jose earlier in the year. Bubba's got. Yeah, Kelly, Bubba's come a long way. I mean, when he first got here, he, you know, to, to where he was when he first got here, to where he is now, and how hard he plays defense, and him coming up with scrums and 50-50 balls, because I'm on him all the time. But your size, man, your only survivability in this game is not offense. Your only way to survive has to be through defense. And he's come up with scrums and hard-nosed plays, and he's, he's, he's gotten better. And, um, uh, <coughs> and, and he...
was an effort where we're going to have a chance because of our 50-50 ball effort, and that's who we are. But uh, and Bubba's been a big part of that. Well, they got well. They they had a couple times in that first half. I mean, they're so fast. I thought Cassius Stanley is so fast, um, and he what an incredible athlete. Um, and Trey Jones is obviously really good. But uh, part of those, some of those turnovers were, or some of those fast breaks were based on our turnovers. And a couple of times that we scored, and they just were right down our throat the other way. But I said it. I I, I told um, both announcers who were doing the TV game today. I said they're an elite probably the best transition offensive team in the country. Um, I don't think anyone's better than them in the way how fast they are in transition offense. The last maybe six, seven minutes of the first half, got a little sloppy offensively, were they able to kind of turn it around? How did you fall into that, and then how are you able to kind of steer out of it? Yeah, well, Ken, we work a lot on, like, <clears throat> I know we talked about yesterday, but we worked a lot on, like, pivots and, and, and footwork, and we weren't using our pivoting properly in, in that in that segment you're talking about. Um, and we had a couple pick sixes, as I like to say. Um, so we weren't properly with our footwork and using our we the way we needed to be. And uh, and then in the second half, we made some adjustments at halftime on, on some things we wanted to do differently offensively to open some things up on the floor. And that was better for us. And, and our team is, you know, We've always we've, we've been down a lot of times. We've always fought our way back. The issue is, is getting down. You exert so much energy to fight back. That's why, like in the Carolina game, we had such a great lead. Now Carolina fought back, but we had such a cushion, and um, we just got to be able to try to hold on and maintain a lead, so we don't have to exert so much on 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 fighting and you know clawing our way back to try to get the lead and then hold on to it. You know, you, you know, Kelly. Yeah, I'm not a big moral victory guy. I mean, we are. You know, we, we want to win, and I want to win. Um, and no matter who we're playing, and anyone knows me, I, I take every possession that's you know, literally as intense as anything as there is. You know, so. Um, but I will say our guys have gotten better, and that's been one thing that I've said. And you know, we've we want to we want to do all we can to get the five star recruit. Trust me, I, I want to get the five star recruit. But if we're not, if we haven't gotten that guy, we have to have five-star development, and every one of our guys have gotten better. Guys have improved. We've gotten better, um, and now we just got to keep staying the course because through the process. And I've told our guys, we get, once Jose got back, I said we can't focus on the result. It's a new season, and and so I kind of said when we got the Boise State game, this is a, it's zero and zero, new season. We're not worried about anything in the past. And we just got to focus process oriented and just get better each day. And, 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 I, and I really feel we're getting better. And we just got to keep staying on that track, and the results will fall how they fall. What happened to that timeout at the 10 minute mark? Uh, Trey Jones, I think, had a turnover. It seemed like both you and Coach Ashevsky were the issues we wanted to hammer out with the uh, official. Yeah, I mean, he, I, I was, I, he, 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 I don't remember what Coach, Coach K was saying. I was saying more about. Uh, on a previous play or something, so um, uh, because I had called it, he I went like this on one of the turnovers. He, said he charged me at the timeout um, the previous time or something like that, but it was it was nothing, you know. Yeah. Anything else for Coach? Coach Michael Rose shooting tonight off a little bit. My man has 16 from the field. Got the T. Confidence. Season wearing on him a little bit. Look, Michael DeVoe, uh, a couple things. One, um, he did have four steals. Um, he dove on the floor multiple times. Um, he's a great shooter, and he's a very good player. I, I mean, but, you know, he last two games, both Carolina and this game, he hasn't shot it well from three, and he's had some great looks. And he's just got to stay confident. He's got to just stay the course with it because he's, he's, he's a really good player, and we need him. And um, and he's just got to lock, keep staying locked in on the defensive glass defensively. And so it is a long season. He's been, you know, when Jose was out, man, we put a lot on him, and that's why it was hard for all of us because we needed his scoring, we needed him to run the point guard, we needed him to de defend, and um, you know, so maybe catches up to him a little bit. But uh, but I, I believe he'll fight his way out of it, and 
Hopefully he plays well on Saturday versus Boston College, which I believe he will.